everybody, welcome to my bowling game kata. To start, let's just instantiate our bowling game object. And then we're going to set up our first test, which we will test an empty bowling game. In this, let's define a set amount of rolls in the game. And we won't add any rolls to it because it's an empty game and we should expect a score of zero if we call the score function. Now this is gonna fail because it doesn't know what rolls or score is. So first we're going to define roles as just an array list of integers. And then we're going to define score as a function that will, for our base case, just return zero. And that's going to pass, that's great. Now let's move on to our next test case, which is what if we roll one pin? So we'll call it test one pin, and we'll add one to our roles, and then we should get one back. And that's going to fail because it only returns zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if the rolls is not empty, then we'll return one, otherwise we'll return zero. And that passes. Now let's handle, oh, first there's a spelling mistake. But next let's test if we roll two pins on our first roll. So if we add two, we should get two back and that's going to fail. So we're gonna change return one to just return the first value of the rolls array. And that'll pass. Now let's test uh, one frame. One frame is typically uh, two rolls. So if we roll two twice, that should be one frame that adds up to four. And that's going to fail because it only returns the first roll. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set it up so that we just return the accumulated uh, value of each roll in the rolls array list. And we'll return that at the very end. Let's define score as zero. We'll run that. Uh, we seem to be getting an issue. Let's see what's going on. Oh, score should be the variable score, not the function. And that passes. Now, let's see if we test, not two frames, but rather a spare. So in bowling, if you roll spare, then you should add on the value after it onto the current frame. So we should get 16, because it'll do two plus eight plus three plus three, which will be 16. And that fails, so we're going to set up our function a little bit differently. We're going to define i uh, up above, and we'll set up a second for loop, which will go all the way up to rolls.size minus 2, and we'll increment by 2. The purpose of this is to go through every frame uh, throughout the game until we get to the end. And then we'll just add in uh, uh, the first roll and the second roll in the frame. Uh, which will still fail because we need to also check if the current frame is a spare Then we need to add the roll after it and that's why we're going up to rolls.size minus two Because we need to ensure that there is a second there is an additional roll after it uh, Now there is some duplicate code here uh, Which is rolls.get plus rolls.get i plus one so we're gonna extract that out. We're gonna call it get frame score We'll put in our parameters, we'll create this method, and we'll just return the first roll plus the second roll. And then we'll put that in for the other duplicate code, and that should still pass. Great. Now, following single responsibility principle, we shouldn't be testing if the, uh, we're at a spare in the score function. So we're gonna extract that out as well. We're gonna create a function called is spare. We're gonna just return if this results to true and then that should pass. Great. Uh, also following single responsibility, we don't want to add the ending frames. So we're gonna call this score plus equals and we'll just say add last few frames. And so this is going to this function is going to serve the purpose of just adding those few frames, uh, that being before rolls dot size minus one and and the last roll. And we'll just redefine score in here and then return score. And rerun that, and everything passes. That's great. Uh, so now we're not violating single responsibility, so we can move on to our next test. Now let's test a strike. So in this, we roll a 10, and then a 5, and a 3. And what 
we should get is 10 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3, which is 26. Uh, but we're only getting 18 because we're not adding 5 and 3 twice. So what we're going to do is we're going to f do one of two things. First, we're going to update our is spare function to also f check for if it's a strike. And the reason why we're doing this, uh, well, first we're going to rename this just so it's a bit more obvious. We're going to call it is strike or spare. And we're doing this because strikes and spares work fundamentally the same, where we're going to add the first, second, and third roll if it's a strike or a spare. And any other case, we'll just roll the first and second roll. We'll add those. Uh, the second part of the equation is we also need to not skip over the second frame. So if we're on a strike, then we'll decrement i by 1. And what I mean by this is that i's uh, strikes are one uh, roll frames, so we need to handle that offset. And following single responsibility, we're going to extract this out. And we're going to say, if it's a strike, we'll return negative 1. If it's not, we'll return zero. And then we'll just add that onto i, handling that offset, and it passes. Uh, again, following single responsibility principle, uh, it's not this function's job to check if it's at a strike. So we're gonna call this is strike, and it's gonna take in rules and i. We'll create that method, and then we'll just return if this resolves to true. And it all passes, great. Now let's move on to our next test, which is we're going to test a perfect game. So to set this up, I'm just going to run a for loop to run 12 times. Uh, because in a perfect game, you ideally get 12 rolls, and all of them are strikes. So game.rolls.add 10, so we're just adding 10 12 times. And then based off of our previous calculations, we should get 300, but we don't. And the reason why is because we are treating the last few strikes as if they're all the other strikes. But when we're reaching those last three strikes, we just add them as 10. They have no added modifiers that strikes usually have. To handle this, we'll create frames and keep track of those. And once we reach the 10th frame, then we will uh, come out of the first for loop, and that should pass, because then it will just treat it as the last few frames. Now we need to test an incomplete game. So what if we roll nine strikes? We should get 240. And this fails because in our add last few frames, it's just adding those strikes as if they're 10 each. But in reality, we're not in the last, the 10th, 11th, and 12th frame. So we need to treat them as if they're normal strikes with modifiers. So what we'll do is we'll check if it's a strike and we're not past frame nine or at frame nine or past. And then also if I has not reached is not greater, uh, if I is still less than rolls.size minus one, just to handle that index out of bounds error. You also need to pass in frame to our add last few frames function. Uh, I have a loose colon here. And if all these values pass, then we will add in the value after it as if it's a normal strike. And then we'll run that in and then it'll pass. Great. So now looking at my code, I like where it's at. We're following all the solid principles. We're not having layers of abstraction that are too deep. I like my tests. We'll just format all those and then we'll quit out. And thank you so much.